Hello and welcome to another Mimosa how-to video with me, Dustin Stock. Today I want to take you through the process on how to actually do a B11 coordination. If you guys do not have a cloud account, you need to go ahead and hit the sign up button here and get yourself a, an account. Otherwise, just go ahead and sign in with your credentials. Uh, don't try to use mine, please. I promise I don't have anything interesting on there. And then let's go ahead and hit design. And so you want to go ahead and create your B11 link if you don't have it already. I hope that I have one already created here. I don't, but I can make it a B11 link. So just make sure, uh, depending on where you're at in the world, if you're in the U.S., choose B11, United States. If you're anywhere else in the world, choose B11, ROW, which is rest of world. And once you have your B11 link created here, you can go ahead and choose your dish type to whatever you think you might want. The larger the dish, the better for longer links. So you have the two foot, three foot, and four foot dish here. But ultimately, the coordinator will tell you pretty much what you need. So let's go ahead and hit done. Then hit save and coordinate. And then you come to the screen where it asks you for your FRN number, which is provided to you by the FCC. If you don't have an FRN number, you need to go to the FCC and actually get that. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to type something in here. Licensee name would be your name. Your address would be where your business is located. Name of authorized signer. So it's whoever is actually filling out this. So if you have somebody else doing it for you, then their name would go here and their title. Uh, type applicant would be uh, most likely individual. If you're on a public switch telnet, yes, uh, most likely it's probably no. Maximum capacity will always be 1733 because that's the highest buy rate you can get with the highest data rate, MCS9, with a 2x80 channel. So you always want to make sure that's 1733. And you're probably a private company, so private microwave is appropriate. For site details, site name, this is for you. You don't have to worry about giving it any real detailed name, just so you know what it is. Site address, it helps to have an approximate address or 100% uh, accurate address, but as long as you have it as close as possible, like if you do Google Maps and click on where the tower is at or on the road right where the tower is at and put in that approximate address, that'll work. and then the nearest city to where you're located at. And then if these are FCC registered towers, you can also bring in the call sign. If it's a water tower or a rooftop, they're usually not FCC registered, so you don't have to worry about the call sign. The registration number, again, is also if they are registered with the FCC you have to put that there, but a lot of the times the towers aren't. So just put NA if it doesn't matter or you don't have that information. And then you just choose what type of tower or building you're on. So we'll just choose tank for water tower and G tower for guide tower. And then over here under radio details, I always just leave it bandwidth 80 megahertz and two by 80 channels. And then when the coordinator looks at it, they'll tell you what you actually have available to you. So once you're done filling out this information, hit submit to the FCC. That will go directly to Intel Path, which is our partner. And then you will receive a confirmation from Intel Path almost immediately saying we've received your request and uh, they'll have any kind of follow-up questions for you that you might not have filled out or filled out correctly. That way they can make sure the link is coordinated correctly with all the other links around you. And so they can make sure that give you appropriate channel widths and transmit power. Okay, so once the link coordinator has looked at your link, they'll actually send you an email with the coordination notice, which has what channel widths you can use. 
just look here real quick. This is an example of uh, an actual coordination notice sent out. So it gives you the model of the radio and what modulations you can use. And highlighted, it tells you what channels you can use or what channel widths you can use. And then if you go to the next page on their document, it has all of the information listed from the application you just submitted on the design tool. And then once you confirm all of that, you'll communicate back to the coordinator and uh, they'll start getting you set up. So it's a really simple and easy way to do it. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to our support team. Just go to mimosa.co support. So we'll see you next time on the next Mimosa video.